The wait is over. The Academy Awards return for the 93rd year tomorrow night after a long pandemic postponement and a lot of pain. Theaters closed never to reopen, movie releases were delayed, and most film productions were halted. Still, some cameras did manage to roll. Here's CBS's Carter Evans. For a movie made in Hawaii, the scenic views do not disappoint. <laughs> But behind the scenes of The Wind and the Reckoning is a very unusual production. You're not really an American. Jason Scott Lee, known for his roles in Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, and Mulan, stars in the film. How is he? Shot on location last fall during the height of the pandemic. The crew had to be full PP. They had to have the N95, they had to have the shield, they have to have gowns. Lee plays Ko'olau in the true story of a native Hawaiian who triggers a massive manhunt in the late 1800s. After contracting leprosy along with his son, the family is forced to flee. Go now! Hurry! When the government orders their capture. In a lot of the ways that you could contract it was very similar to coronavirus uh, through sneezing or coughing. It had so many similarities to what is going on. It's eerie, in effect, that that happened. We're trying to tell that story of, you know, this time when there's disease, there's a lot of blame, and, and it pulls families apart, pulls, you know, the world apart. Lindsay Watson plays Lee's wife. You're doing a movie about an epidemic, and you're shooting it in a pandemic. Yeah, it, the whole situation was really surreal. I feel like as a character, it helped me mentally prepare. Being able to relate to this, the stories and the characters, oh, I think man, it man. made everything richer. David L. Cunningham directed the film. When the pandemic happened, I was like, we got to make this. It's dealing with family and racism okay. that's brought forward because of it. And I said, we got to tell the story. And in order to tell it safely, the entire cast and crew were sequestered to a 50-acre ranch off the grid for almost a month. We were able to maintain that bubble that whole time. Saw the same people every day. We did bonfires, we were singing outside. To be telling a story of, of historical merit. At a time it was kind of still important. Yeah, and for the Hawaiian culture to be represented. Filming wrapped up in December without a single positive COVID case during the entire production. Carter Evans, CBS News, Hollywood.